Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so that you do not miss an upload from me. Okay y'all, so I do apologize if the setup is a little bit crooked. I have been having such a hard time with my setup for some reason, I guess because I haven't filmed a video down here in a while. But anyway, in today's video, we are going to be talking about all of the things that I picked up while I was in NYC. I did post a few stories and of course you guys have already seen the vlog so you wanted to know what I bought which was not a lot but I did do a little bit of luxury shopping. New York has the best shopping so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay y'all so let's actually start off with the pieces that I got from the Pandora event. My girl Janae invited me to a full luxurious spa day at the well and this was also a chance for Pandora to show off their Essence collection which I've actually been loving before I even received this invite. Um, and so we were able to go in and kind of like pick out some pieces. They styled us up, styled us up some stacks and everything. So they did gift us all these pieces and I'm super excited because I love them. And I've actually been wearing these every single day. So let's start here. Also, anything that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below. So just make sure you're checking that out because I know like YouTube likes to hide that for some reason, but anything that you need, especially like information about this video, anything I'm wearing, it will be linked in the description box, I promise you, okay? So let's start off with this hand. First up, we have the heart ring from the Essence Collection. This is a piece that I had my eye on. When I first saw this, I was like, OMG, I love this ring. There was a heart ring that I liked from Tiffany's a while back, but this one is honestly much better. And I really just like, like it makes a statement, but it's also kind of like, you may not know exactly what it is. I don't know. I just really think it's so cute. So this is the first piece that I knew I wanted and had to get. And all of the Pandora pieces are 14 karat gold plated. Okay. So yeah, that one is the heart ring. Next up, we have this gorgeous stack and I did kind of switch it up today because usually I wear the two gold pieces together and the two silver pieces together. But here I did them let me see if it'll focus here I did every other one and I just think it's so cute so I love this stack they do come in two sets so you'll get a gold set or a silver set or you can get two gold sets but two rings come in each set okay so I love that again 14 karat gold plated and I just think these are so beautiful you guys so this is what um the individual ring would look like so cute. Next up, let's get into this hand. So we'll start here. I have a single pearl ring. I thought this was so cute. It has an odd shape to it as well. Let me take this off and show you guys. Like the ring has this cool shape to it. So you can tell it's really meant to be stacked. And then I also have this ring on as well. And I love the way that the pearl kind of just fits right into that little groove. So if I slide it on, you can see, like it's so cute. I think this is the cutest stack and I've been loving pearls. You guys know that, but I also love how modern this looks for it to be pearls, okay? So cute. So then here I have this pearl ring and it has some lab grown diamonds, super cute. And I don't know if the diamonds are being picked up, but this is that one. And I always stack it with this silver and gold intertwining ring. I think this is so cute. This comes as one and then this one comes as one. So I just slide those two together. It's just such a cute stack. I love my rings that I got from Pandora. So let me show you some of the other pieces that I picked up. I did pick up these hoops and I love when I can find a nice hoop that is 14 karat gold plated because it's really hard to find these. I have some from Ana Luisa and they're a little bit thicker. I like that these are thin and they're super easy to put on. Like they're not heavy, but you can tell that they are of quality. They have a little bit of weight to them for them to be this thin, but they don't hurt my ears or anything like that. So I thought these were cute and just a nice staple because I am a hoop girl. Now for these smaller pieces, I'll probably insert clips for you guys, but I did pick up these really cute pearls. I wore these while I was in New York when I had on that black she in dress. And y'all, I just love how these look. 
oh, they just look so organic and beautiful. I love these cute little pearl studs and they add a nice little pop to the face. I just think these are so cute. When I first saw these, I was like, hmm, will I wear these? I've been wearing these a lot, you guys. Like so, so, so cute. And these are called the 14 karat gold plated Baroque treated freshwater cultured pearl stud earrings. These are so freaking cute. I promise you, I love these. I've also been really into silver lately. I've been gravitating towards silver way more than gold. And that's why I'm loving like mixing my metals because um, I used to think I was such a gold girl, but I feel like silver actually complements my skin tone better. I don't know. Maybe it just depends on the hair that I'm wearing. Um, but I did pick up these cute little silver hoops. I will insert a picture of how these look. They're small, but again, kind of interesting and I just thought that these would be a nice little something to add when you don't want too much but you just need a little bit of light added to the face. These are cute and they have like an interesting shape so really cute. I love these. These are really tiny you guys but I also picked up these cute little pearl earrings. Um, they just have like a tiny little pearl in the center and these are gold. So something cute and dainty and the reason why I got these is because I thought these would be really cute to like intertwined with my stack. You guys know I love wearing like stacks. So I thought, you know, I can maybe wear one one day or like both. It depends, but kind of switch them up a little bit. So I thought these were cute and I like how small these are. I can also put this in my cartilage piercing as well. So yeah, love these. And I also picked up a necklace that actually matches those earrings. I just got this in silver. This is cute. Just a nice little dainty necklace to um, wear kind of like on a daily basis if you want to. I'll pop up a picture here so you can see it because the pieces are you know really small and dainty but they do make an impact um and i love that so i'll pop up a picture so you guys can kind of see them i also got a longer necklace with the heart on it and it's upstairs i forgot to bring it down but i'll pop a picture here so you guys can see that as well it looks just like this heart but it's longer and it also has an adjustable uh chain so you can wear it a little bit shorter i would say maybe like center of chest and then a little bit longer so it's really nice and i don't have any long necklaces like that so I thought that would be something nice to add to my collection so yeah that's all my Pandora pieces I love them and thank you so much Pandora for gifting us these and just providing such a beautiful experience um, at the event okay also speaking of jewelry I did go by Tiffany's and if you've been following me you would know I have been really into the bone cuff which is by Elsa Peretti I love her pieces I have a ring like a diamond ring from Elsa Peretti and a couple of earrings so I've always loved her collection with Tiffany's and when I saw that bone cuff I was like this is so cool I love like how it looks I just wasn't sure if it would be worth the investment for me so I did go to Amazon Amazon as I like to call it these days um, and I saw that they had a dupe of one so I picked it up just to kind of see how much I would reach for it and you guys I reach for that cuff all the time, okay? And when I was in New York, my girl Carolyn had it um, and Chi. And she was like, girl, you need to invest in the real cuff. The prices keep going up. It's a really good cuff. And I was like, girl, but I have the Amazon version and it's doing me just fine. Now, of course, it's not real silver. It's thinner. But she was like, we're going to go to the store. When you try that on, I promise you, like, you're going to change your mind. And she did not lie. My sis, she, she never steers me wrong. I love her too. So we did go to Tiffany's and let me just tell you, as soon as I put it on, I told them to wrap it up immediately. Okay. Immediately. It's so good. And the price did go up already because when I first started looking at it, I believe it was 1500 and now I want to say it's like 1800 yeah, but it is a forever piece I feel like that I would have in my collection and it's gorgeous. The weight on it is good. So while I'm talking about it, let's let's pull her out. OK, so this is how it comes. You have your big Tiffany's box. She's heavy, too. When you open it. So cute, right? Packaging is gorgeous. Let me just tell you, we had the best time in Tiffany's. Like I had the best essay when I went there. He was so nice and we were just flicking it up. He let me vlog and everything in there. It was so fun. So I had a great experience. So it made it even more of a pleasurable like purchase for me. Um, so this is how you open the box. Oops, upside down. <laughs> this is how you open the box. And this is what the cuff looks like, you guys. So this is the bone cuff from Tiffany's. Elsa Peretti and I didn't even realize like I didn't do a lot of research on this 
I didn't realize they call it the bone cuff because it goes over this bone, which my bone doesn't protrude much. But she, she was like, no, like it's supposed to go over this bone. And she was like, dang, your bone doesn't even stick out, but hers does. And it fits like right into this little cuff thing right here. So when you stick it on, you kind of put it on there and then slide it over. And this is what it looks like. And I did get the, the medium size, but the small wrist size. So um, my wrist is kind of small. I think it measures like 4.6 inches or something crazy y'all so i got the small size but the medium width if that makes sense and i decided to wear it on my right hand because i always wear a watch on my left i have a couple of like forever bracelets you can't really see them they're really small that i've gotten at different events and they are gold and i was like i kind of like to keep this side kind of bare but i could switch it out if i wanted to right if i'm not wearing a watch if i want to kind of dress up my look um a little bit more but when i put it on this hand i wasn't mad at how it looked with my stack so i was like this is actually really cute so um yeah this is how i've been wearing it i love this cuff and i think it is so worth the investment i love curating pieces that i can wear on a daily basis but they still have like a big impact so even if i was wearing and i always use this like if i was wearing just a plain white tank and some jeans and i had my jewelry on like it looks like i put forth a lot of effort and i love that you know you don't have to do too much your accessories can make or break your outfit okay so yeah this is the bone cuff love her down okay <laughs> now while i was in there I did pick up something else. I saw the ring and I tried it on. They only had like small sizes and I've been looking for a pinky ring. As soon as I tried this on, again, I told him to wrap it up. It wasn't even a thought. She was like, yes, get it all girl. So, so this is what the box looks like. Here is the ring. And I've honestly been wearing all the rings together. So I'm gonna slide her on for you. And it does have that split. So I kind of get the best of both worlds, right? I usually wouldn't wear this pearl one if I was going to do this pinky ring, but how cute is this? Is it going to focus? There it is. I love this, you guys. This is just so cute. This set, I'm obsessed with it. So this ring, I think it retails for like 700 and something dollars. I don't remember exactly, but I think it's worth it. It's so beautiful and you can kind of adjust it a little bit just a little bit this is like really thick nice heavy duty uh sterling silver so it doesn't it's not as pliable as you would think but it's gorgeous and i think this is like what size a four or something like that so i kind of just squeeze it you know together to wear it as a pinky ring but i'm obsessed with this ring and he was showing me how i could wear it as like a midi ring as well so yeah i just love this i think it's so cute and the pieces are comfortable that was something that i was concerned about i was like is this going to get on my nerves is it going to be uncomfortable and it's so not so so happy with my tiffany's pieces and yeah i'm happy to have something else from the elsa Peretti collection, especially with her passing. Um, I just think she does the coolest, but cl most classic pieces. And yeah, I love these. No regrets. So yeah, that's all the jewelry that I picked up. I also went into Bergdorf's. This was like right before I was headed to my flight and um, I had some time to kill. So I was like, Bergdorf's is like four minutes away. Let me run in there and see what they have. I also wanted to smell some fragrances that I don't get to get my nose on. You know, being in Nashville, um, they don't. we don't have all of the niche brands. So went in there and lo and behold, y'all, they were having a sale. I had no clue. So I went in there really just to kill time, kind of look around, smell some things. And I ended up coming out with a pair of shoes and these are so cute. I've already worn these, they're really high. So these are called the Gippy Sandal. But when I look them up online, I don't know if this is the right box. Cause when I look these up online and they're called the YSL or Saint Laurent Blondie. So we'll see, but let's open them. Of course you get your dust bags and you get two dust bags because these have embellishment on them. So yeah, you get your two dust bags and Y'all, these are the heels. I'm obsessed with these shoes. Like I said, I have worn these already and I just love this heel. I call shoes like this my Peg Bundy heels. It's just, 
they're good okay the heel on this is killer as well like these are super high heels and i just love them so much um but i did wear these out and y'all i wore them for the first time and i already lost a jewel and let me just tell you it's my fault because i was walking through cobblestone of course i would do that right but these jewels are actually sewn on so my foot kind of got stuck on the side of a cobblestone and it pulled one of the jewels off but i can get that fixed i'm sure but it's really like at the very bottom you can't really tell but these are so good i love the cream i just love how beautiful they look they're just gorge okay so yeah so cute and while i was there you know i had to look them up so i was looking them up online and the lowest i saw them were like 780 dollars but they weren't at websites that were readily available i think italy's had a couple but not my size but now when i look them up y'all these are back at full price so maybe it was just like something going on you know that weekend to where they were having a sale i don't know but these are back up to full price and i think the original price on let me make sure I think these are over a thousand dollars retail. Okay, so right now the black pair are on satire for six seventy six, um, but I don't see any of the cream pair on sale. And the cream pair actually retail for fourteen fifty. I got these for half off. So yeah, like Neiman Marcus, um, Luisa Via Roma, Bloomingdale's, Saks, they all have them for fourteen fifty. And I got these for seven something. So yeah, can't beat that with the stick. These are so cute. You guys know I will wear a dressed up heel with just jeans, which is kind of how I wore it. I had this um, vest on. It's like a knit vest with gold detailing. These and just some straight leg jeans. And it was a hit. But I would also wear these with a gown, right? Like these could be birthday shoes. They can be like gala shoes. But yeah, these are gorgeous, you guys. Let me know what you think. I love them. So that's all I ended up picking up in Bergdorf's. I did go buy Gucci. And I haven't even opened these yet. But if you watched the vlog, I had a time in Gucci with my boy Michael. He was so good. I had such a good shopping day. Everybody was so nice and just accommodating. And it felt like I was making friends while shopping, which is the best thing. You know, a day of luxury shopping and champagne, like you can't go wrong. But it's nice to have like a great experience. And I had the best experience. So yeah, I did go to Gucci and I picked up a pair of flats. Anytime I go to New York, it's something about it. I feel like I have to get a pair of flats because here in Nashville, I can wear what I want to wear. I can wear those shoes out and not really have an issue. But in New York, honey, you just never know what the day may take you. So you need a pair of flats and you need them to be cute. So pick these up. Let's open them together. He wrapped them up so cute for me. I also had my eye on another pair of shoes. They were like flat forms. I may grab those um, at another point, but I was like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting over like the Supreme print, the GG Supreme print, but you know, I love it. <laughs> so yeah, let's open. And these are called the Gucci Demi Ballet Mesh Crystal Flats. And the reason why I went with these is because these are going to be discontinued in this color. Okay. So here they are. The lighting, y'all, is so bad. Hold on. So these are them. How gorgeous are these? Like, if this is not like a glam flat, I don't know what it is. And I thought about the kitten heel, but honestly, the kitten heel just looked too witchy on me. <laughs> so I really love these. Grab these in a seven and a half. Um, and they are super comfortable. They have cushion. And you guys know when it comes to a sling bag, I need it to have... Um, an adjustable like strap because I have a short heel. All sling bags usually fall off of my foot, so I have to go down a size. But with these, I were able to get my regular size and still, um, you know, adjust them. So yeah, these are the flats. Let me know what you guys think. I know these are not for everybody, but I really have been having a little bit of FOMO um, with the mesh flats because I don't like the Alaya flats. It's just that round toe, but they do look good on other people. For me, maybe because I'm shorter and you know my legs are thicker, I just need something that's gonna elongate a little bit more, but still be comfortable in a flat. And I felt like these were it. The black ones, they were cute, but they just didn't hit the same as these. These are gorgeous, you guys. I just love like how these look. 
on. And I actually tried these on when these first came out. And me and my mom both were like, these are so beautiful. But I was just like, you know, I'm not really a flat girl. Is it really worth that? But yeah, I ended up grabbing them and I love them. And I was about to say, I don't remember how much these cost, but I do have my receipt here. So let's see. Okay, so these were $990 uh, retail and then, of course, tax. And another reason why I like to shop in New York is because the tax is lower. Here in Nashville, our tax is 9.25. So it's not fun shopping here, especially when you're spending this kind of money because the tax is so ridiculous. Okay, y'all, so that's pretty much all of the exciting things. Last but not least, I did go by Celine and I picked up a fragrance. Um, I wanted to get my nose on this because because this fragrance was so hard to get. I feel like they discontinued it and maybe brought it back because every time I tried to go, we have a Celine here, but every time I would try to go smell this, it's not available. And so um, when I was able to smell this, they had a new fragrance out as well. I think it's called Zuzu. And I was like, ooh, maybe I'll get, you know, the newer one. I smelled it, I wasn't impressed. So I ended up picking up the one that I wanted to smell, which is Celine's Black Tie. I love the packaging. Celine's packaging on their fragrances is so chic, like is very Parisian. And I do feel like the DNA of all of Celine's fragrances have a very Parisian flair to them. Um, so I usually don't go for them. But when I smelled this one, I was like, you know what? This is pretty. And the way that it was developing on my skin just within, I want to say the 10 minutes that Chi and I were in the store, we kept saying, yeah, this is actually beautiful. This is actually pretty. Because when I smelled this initially, I was just like, okay, it's kind of giving, you know, like a very elegant, soft, fluffy vanilla scent, but it has some soft florals. And it actually reminded me quite a bit of Dama Bianca from Zerjoff, which is like that super ethereal type of vanilla because it has some kumquat in there. I think it has a lime. I don't know all of the notes of this one. Actually, I will look it up for you guys. Let's see. So this one actually came out in 2019. It is a powdery vanilla. It has iris in here. And that's exactly what I smell. Iris always has like this powdery quality to it and I'm pretty sure Dama Bianca has iris in it as well. So this has vanilla, oris, cedar, musk, and moss but I do know it has iris because the guy told me and I saw it on the Celine site. I'm on Fragrantica right now um, and those are all the notes that they're pulling but yeah this is a very powdery classy kind of, oh she's classy. This is a Parisian vanilla if I've ever smelled one. It's so beautiful. And this retails for $280. Again, I wasn't like blown away when I first sniffed it. But again, the way that this developed on the skin, I loved it. And I used up Dama Bianca and it didn't last on me. So I went with a um, dupe version, which I do love, Janu Noir. I'll have it linked down below. But this one is like my niche, you know, ethereal, fluffy vanilla. And this one actually does last. So, so that is Black Tie from Celine. Okay, y'all. So that's all I have for you today. That's my little luxury New York shopping haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know you guys are asking and wondering all of the things that I picked up and I'm super happy with everything that I got because I feel like all of these pieces are pieces that I can wear on a regular basis. I know I love them and yeah, I'm just excited about everything I got. It wasn't a huge haul, but it's definitely pieces that I can see myself getting my wear out of, which is super important. So thanks again to Janae and Pandora for inviting me out. I had the best time. I love a New York summer and um, I just really had a great time hanging out with everybody and um, getting these Pandora pieces too. So, so let me know some of your favorite pieces if you liked anything that I picked up and make sure to check out that description box. Everything will be linked down below. I promise you, if I can find it, it's linked down below in the description box. So thanks again for watching and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye y'all.